Allison Galen is going to present the award for the best fact crime. She's a USA Today and international best-selling writer. Uh, she received Edgar nominations for her first book, Hide Your Eyes, and for her most recent book, Stay With Me. She won a Seamus for And She Was, as well as Thriller and Anthony Awards. Her ninth novel, a standalone called What Remains of Me, will be out in 2016 from HarperCollins. Allison. It was such a privilege for me to be um, the chairman of the Fact Crime Committee because I've been a huge fan of fact crime and true crime since I was 10 years old and read Helter Skelter thinking that it was something about the Beatles. <laughs> um, it, it impresses me so much uh, the degree of uh, skill and heart that it takes to take facts and uh, and and create wonderful stories with them and, we, and, and with these five finalists, uh, I, can't, I can't tell you how happy I am with them. Um, the, uh, they're all very diverse. The only thing they have in common is they have very long, unwieldy titles with colons in them, so I'm gonna put my glasses on to read them. The nominees are Kitty Genovese, The Murder, The Bystanders, The Crime That Changed America by Kevin Cook. W.W. W. Norton Publishers. The Savage Harvest, the tale of cannibals, colonialism, and Michael Rockefeller's tragic quest for primitive art by Carl Hoffman. <laughs> HarperCollins Publishers, William Morrow. The Other Side, a memoir by Lacey M. Johnson, Tin House Books. Tinseltown, Murder, Morphine, and Madness at the Dawn of Hollywood by William Mann. HarperCollins Publishers, Harper. And finally, The Mad Sculptor, The Maniac, The Model, and The Murder That Shook the Nation by Harold Schechter, Amazon Publishing, New Harvest. And the Edgar goes to... Tinseltown, Murder, Morphine, and Madness at the Dawn of Hollywood by William Mann. Thank you, thank you. This is a um, um, shock to me. Um, I'm very grateful. You know, Tinseltown is the first book that I've written that could possibly be considered in the mystery or crime categories. Um, but mystery and crime is what I read. And so that's why this is amazing to me to be standing here tonight around so many of my idols um, looking around and thinking, I'm standing here among you. So I'm, I'm humbled and I'm very, very grateful. Um, but I have to also thank HarperCollins for believing in this book from the get-go when I submitted the proposal, um, it was kind of this big, long, unwieldy thing about this murder that happened almost 90 years ago. And my editor, Cal Morgan, believed in it and helped me shape it and bring it out, and uh, very grateful for that. And I'm grateful to Heather Drucker and Christine Cho, who got this book out and let people see it and know about it. And of course, to my agent, Malaga Baldi, who has always believed in my work and, got, and just always getting my, uh, always has my best interests at heart. And then finally, <clears throat> to my husband, Dr. Tim Huber, because he's always been my first and my best critic. Thank you so much. Thank you. 